Hey, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at the Phoenix PD31. This is a little bit different than the PD30 that we looked at in another video. It's using the same XPG R5 LED, but they increased the body width on here, so you can actually use an 18650 in here, one of the rechargeable lithium ions, in addition to the regular 2CR123 batteries. They also increased the output. You've got uh, 257 of the ANSI lumens on the, uh, the PD30. This one has 304, so you get even more output out of this one. So let's open it up pull it out and show you what you get on the inside. All the standard stuff you get with Phoenixes, you get the light, of course. Let's pull that out. You get the holster, instruction information, uh, lanyard, spare o-ring, that kind of stuff. The light itself. So here's the PD-31. There's the PD-30. Zoom in on that a little bit better just so you can see the size difference. PD-31 just has a slightly wider body on it. So it can accept those 18650s because they are wider batteries. Alright, let's open it up, and uh, of course you can use two CR123s, but since it takes 18650s, we're going to put one of our truss fires in there, actually we'll show you the inside of it, and then put the tail cap back on there. There's the LED and reflector down in there, that's that XPG R5, and the smooth reflector, and there you can get an idea of how big it is. I have small girly hands, so you can see this definitely isn't a big light. Something that's not uh, not too bad to put in your pocket or anywhere else. Still pretty lightweight. So the interface for this guy, hit the switch on the back. When the head is tightened, you're going to go into max brightness. Lightly tap it and you have strobe. Every time you tap it or turn it all the way off and on quickly, it's going to switch between the two. Loosen the head and you have another mode group. So turn it on, you have the low brightness. And this is something Phoenix has started doing that I really like. The low brightnesses on them used to be 10, 15 lumens, and uh, now they're doing the low brightnesses like 1, 2, 3 lumens. So you get better battery life, and uh, sometimes that's all the light you need. So I really like that they're starting to do this on, on uh, their new line of lights. So softly press it. You can see you have two other brightnesses, and then SOS flashing. And you keep on pressing, and it'll keep on switching between. And then tighten the head, and it'll right, go, go right back to that max turbo brightness. So that's the interface for it. Same as it is on the PD30 and uh, the PD20, LD10, LD20. We're going to go and take this outside and show you how they do outside compared to each other and compare them to the mag light that we always use. All right, we're out here in uh, the literally frozen backyard. You can see we got some very rare snow, so I uh, thought it'd give you a, a nice idea of how these things do in, in winter conditions for you guys that get snow more than once every 20 years like we do here in Georgia. But we've got the PD31 and the regular PD30 R5, um, and we're going to compare those to just the regular 40 mag light that I always use. So let's give that mag light a shot first, and we'll see how it does. Little bush 15 feet away, tree 100 feet away. Zoom in on that just so you can see it a little bit better. As regular, it does all right. Let's give those Phoenix lights a shot. First off, we're going to try the PD30 R5 on high or turbo, whatever they call it. So there you can see still pretty decent amount of light coming out of that. Nothing to nothing to laugh at, definitely. But there's the PD31. You can see even more light coming out of that guy. We'll show them side by side. Kind of hard to tell at this distance, but uh, over larger distances you definitely notice more of a difference, but uh, I can definitely tell that there is more light coming out of that PD31. So on the PD31, we'll just cycle through the different levels real quick. There is your turbo, that's the max brightness. There's the strobe. Back to the turbo, and we'll loosen the head. Show you the lower brightnesses. What I really like about this one is they actually put a really low brightness on it, which is kind of unusual for Phoenix. Usually they start at uh, 10 or 15 lumens, but this guy goes all the way down to one lumen, which is really nice. So that's the lowest. Next up, next up, and there's your SOS. So we'll turn it back onto the turbo, shine it around a little bit so you can get an idea. We'll zoom in on that tree a little bit better. As you can tell, uh, 100 feet, absolutely no problem. Obviously, it could do a lot further than that if you needed it to. So that is the Phoenix PD31. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We're putting out new ones all the time.